As morning comes, the rain has passed and the forest is smothered in heavy mist. All is quiet, primeval. Sometimes the forest feels very permanent. Trees of some form or other have existed on Africa's equator since the age of the dinosaurs. At times, it's easy to think that monsters are here still. Heavy burdens, shallow roots, thin soils, trees fall all the time in the rainforest, leaving a hole in its roof. And so a piece of Africa that has been centuries dark greets the stream of morning light. Immediately the whole intricate web of rainforest life jumps out to seize the day. The first to take the chance is the wild yam, sprinter of the plant world. It heads for the hole in the canopy and the precious sun. Underground is a secret weapon, a giant tuber which pumps energy into the growing tip day and night. It grows an incredible one meter in just three days. And there's more. As it grows, it produces tiny beads of sweet nectar on its shoots. Insects are drawn in. Butterflies. And most importantly, ants, who repay the favor by aggressively defending the yam from enemies. A place in the sun for the yam seems guaranteed. But in this infinitely complex world, every defence is met with counter-attack. Enter a very particular little beetle. Like the yam, it seizes what chances it may. It gets straight to the point and starts to mate. Before the ants are fully mobilised, a tiny yellow larvae is already eating away at the yam. And here's the ingenious bit. As it eats, it absorbs poisons from the plant taking the yam's defences and spreading them on its back as a shield. To the ever-watchful ant defence force, the beetle larvae now smells and tastes repellent. It's free to munch yam flesh to its heart's content. One tiny larvae like this won't stop the yam on its journey to the sun. The chance for a yam is a chance for a beetle. 